desperate call for swift justice in the Laquan McDonald case. Good morning. I'm Erin Kennedy. And I'm Marissa Bailey. Community activists want the Chicago police officer charged in the teen's deadly shooting to go to trial now. But the judge has a different view. CBS News Mike Puccinelli joins us live from the Layton Criminal Court building with details this morning. Good morning, Mike. Hi, and there were more than a dozen attorneys present for a hearing in what is definitely going to be one of the most high-profile cases in recent Chicago history. Former CPD officer Jason Van Dyke was wearing a bulletproof vest when he was escorted by armed police into the courthouse at 26 in California earlier this morning. Once inside, he and his father shed their vests and settled in for a hearing covering a variety of issues, including how quickly the case will go to trial. Has anybody kept track of how many documents? We have 300,000 emails. Yes, I mean, people have to understand that. And this is not going to be run by the public saying we have to do this, or representatives or minor representatives of the public saying it has to go to trial. It'll go to trial when it's fair. Van Dyke is accused of murdering Laquan McDonald more than three years ago. That's when the then CPD officer says McDonald lunged at him with a knife. But a police camera rolling that night shows the ward of the state walking away when he's gunned down. That was 2014. Now in 2018, protesters say the nearly two and a half year delay to go to trial is causing the public to forget what happened. We're tired of waiting. Straight like that. Our patients have been fully exhausted. We have been peaceful. We have marched and protested and raised this issue peacefully. It's time for this man to face, face the music, and we demand that a trial be set. Now, two people were actually taken out of the courtroom and placed into custody. It's not clear if their outbursts were related to the Laquan McDonald case. Also, a group representing the news media filed a motion today asking to have a gag order lifted in this case. Also, scheduling in the case will be discussed when court resumes at 1 o'clock this afternoon. Reporting live at the Criminal Courthouse at 26 California, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News.